and educational entities weren't just keeping kids out of schools, they were discovering new ways to pollute their minds. Breitbart reporting that through teacher training lectures like cultivating anti-racists and activists in kindergarten and decolonizing the minds of second graders, the nation's leading accreditation association for private schools, it's called the National Association of Independent Schools, is instructing educators to adopt what's called a race essentialist curriculum for children. One of their chief instructors is a former Black Panther. That notion of diversity that we really reached out to include, for instance, the dominant culture of white students and teachers in this work, I think it's important to have representation in what our students are studying all the way down to pre-K and talking about things like race, like gender, like social class for our youngest learners. I think the whole notion of assessing with an equity lens is so critical. It's there that we begin to see the bias surface. Joining me now, Bob Woodson, founder and CEO of the Woodson Center. Bob, we keep thinking it can't get worse, but now they're all exposing themselves. Your take on this? Well, first of all, I thanks for having me on, Laura. Um, this, this whole emphasis on race, it really is a flip side is, I think, uh, white progressive narcissism that somehow that the destiny and, and, and future of black America is depend upon what white people do or do not do. Dr. King really warned against that in his letter from a Birmingham jail when he said the greatest stumbling block to black progress is not the white citizens council or the KKK. It is the white moderate that lukewarm acceptance from people of goodwill is more difficult to tolerate than outright rejection of people of ill will. And some of these progressives that are teaching this poison to our children, in one sense, are worse than bigots. They're worse than hardline bigots because they are really preaching self-annihilation. Every five minutes, Laura, a, black, a child is shot in America. I know of a black woman who lost all four of her children, her four sons, to homicide before the age of 30. There is a crisis in America, and, and, and the answer to those kind of challenges is not going to come from teaching white people to be less racist. It is, it, is, it is narcissistic to believe that, but also harmful to the nation. It's poisonous. And, well, Bob, and, and I, I don't want to hear another white person say to me, I cannot confront this truth. Be, Bob, I'm white. I can't say that. Only you can. That's crap. White America has to summon the courage to stand up against these progressive bigots. Well, Bob, we were and, talking and about this in relation. Truth. Sorry to interrupt, but we're, we were talking about this in relation to Disney, and that's kind of the, the more of the sexual propagandizing. And but it, but it's this corporate environment that they're foisting on employees, where it's the equity, diversity, equity, inclusion agenda, which on its face sounds that sounds fine. But that when you dig into it, it's not it's, it's not about tolerance. This is about you must believe you must think you and it, it just creates an intolerable environment for free thought and free, you know, free expression, period and learning. It's it's not only tolerance, but it's insulting. But they're using the, the, the black uh, uh, issue about justice as the, as the reason for the need for it. And I'm saying that that is just not shared by the majority of black uh, Americans. You talked about uh, Governor DeSantis. He won because 100,000 black, low-income black people voted for him. He only won by 32,000 votes because of his position on vouchers and education, even though Bingo. Obama and Oprah Winfrey came in to campaign for Gillum. The white so black America, low-income black Americans do not share this passion for racial diversity that is being thr thrust on them by black and white no. elites. A white, white guilt. And it so always, that's why it always comes back. Bob, we got to... White guilt is, is yeah. poisonous. Bob, Bob um, your perspective so needed tonight. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.